Hey guys, how many of these transitions can you figure out before I do? Focus. Each transition is going to get increasingly more mind-blowing. This guy Nikolai is completely blowing my mind. No intro. Let's dive in. Let him cook! I said let him cook! Alright, so we're starting off with a scene featuring a dog, which is pretty cool. I can see what their creator did here. For this transition, it looks like they used a perfectly timed crossfade, maybe with a bit of a keyframed radial blur to smooth it out. The match coat was also key. The I can see that the color and the texture of the dog's fur matched the look of the ice-covered mountain pretty well. So the two shots actually blended pretty nicely. And then the crossfade, I guess, just enhanced that transition. Very, very creative overall, but not overly complex. Great work. This video would not have been possible without our video sponsor, Envato Elements. Guys, I call Envato Elements the Netflix for video editors because what it is is a subscription service that gives you for one single fee every month literally access to unlimited downloads of millions of incredible digital products, effects packs that are meant to save you time. So you can finally have time to get your edits done on time and spend more time with your family, chill with your friends, actually have a social life. I literally download things from Envato Elements every single day when I'm editing these tutorials. From transition packs to title packs to effects packs to stock footage to royalty free music to sound effects. There's literally everything. Every subscription helps the channel and through the channel you can get your first month for only nine dollars. It's amazing. Check it out. Let's get back to this tutorial. I said This next video is done really well too. I can see that the transition starts with him and his food on a plate. I actually noticed that he deliberately, but smartly separated his greens so that they matched with the next shot. This basically makes his greens transition smoothly to this clip face with water at the bottom. I think as the camera moves closer to the separated greens, he likely tracked out a masked out image of the actual cliff face in the second shot onto the greens in the first shot. And I think it slowly fades into place, aligning with the greens. And then a quick crossfade and some keyframed radial blur makes the transition look like incredibly smooth. Okay, this one's very interesting. It starts off with a confetti cannon being popped off on the street and the white confetti transitions into a school of fish. This transition is kind of hard to figure out. It could be all animation with the fish being animated and composited into both scenes. However, another possibility is that the second scene begins with the camera pointing like upward towards the water with just like a, a clean, just plain background. I think this setup would make it easier to key out the fish and composite them over the first scene where the confetti is being shot. And then as the fish move and spread apart in the second scene, they eventually transition to a complex coral background as the camera pans down, therefore completing the transition. The use of a convenient background at the start and the ability to key out the fish creates this really amazing and seamless transition. So if that's how they did it, that was truly incredible, very impressive. This is crazy. Okay, this is another really cool one that actually involves a school of fish as well. It starts off with a scene outside where a guy is eating food. The camera then transitions to the sky, which is super blue and makes for a convenient transition point to the blue water scene. Okay, the camera faces up against the school of fish with the blue water background transitioning perfectly with the blue sky. I can tell though that the hand from the first scene is rotoscoped out. So it's present for just a little bit of the second scene. And this allows him to flick what's supposed to be salt onto the camera. But in that second scene, the salt becomes the school of fish, creating a perfect transition. Um, the blues of the sky and the water match almost seamlessly, making this transition beautiful and nearly flawless. This is incredible. I think it all works just so well together. Nicely done. Let him 
Alrighty, on to the next reaction. This was interesting and really cool. It took me a few seconds to even realize what I was looking at at the beginning. We have like two shots, a shot of a sunset that transitions into a shot of molten lava coming out of a volcano. What I think is happening though is the sky in the first scene is actually a frozen still of the lava from the second scene. The still begins to move as you transition to the second scene. And so the sky is really never the sky. It's always the lava. It's funny because the way that the lava is fragmented gives it the appearance of a sky during a sunset. This was very, very creative. The sky, which is really the lava, in the first scene I can tell was tracked to match the movement of the camera. And it was actually very, very impressive. Very nicely done. This is crazy cool. This is literally the smoothest transition I've seen for a while. What I think is happening here is fascinating. You have two shots, one of a salad and the other of a drone shot of a green mountain. It's interesting. So in the first shot, you see a small checked portion of the second shot, like frozen in place on the salad. As the camera in the first shot zooms in though towards the salad, I can see that the checked portion of the second shot takes up more of the frame. And then eventually the salad like takes up the entire frame. And then the second shot starts moving. And therefore that just completes the transition. This results in like a very smooth and seamless transition that looks beautiful. I'm like incredibly impressed how well it was all executed. Well done. Okay, this one's really cool and interesting. It starts with a shot where you can see dogs and then this guy knocks some salt onto like a black desk. The salt then transitions into the stars in a night nice sky over a city scene. And it looks like a really crazy seamless transition because you're wondering, I'm wondering, how did he manage to align the salt perfectly with the positions of each of the stars in the second scene? What I'm realizing though is that you actually never stop looking at the first scene. Because look, this, the entire sky in the second scene is still that salt on the table. The salt literally never goes away. Look, at a certain point, he freezes the frame of the first scene once the salt takes up the entire frame, he then tracks that frozen salt table frame into the camera movement of the second scene, making that salt then look like a night nice sky. I really give this guy credit though, because the only way I figured this out, that this might be the case, was by knowing, maybe just being a photographer, that at night you literally couldn't get an exposure of stars that looked that bright. Normally stars would look a lot dimmer and even non-existent. And the brightness of the stars made me realize that those weren't actually stars. Those were all actual grains of salt on a black table. So a lot of creative work went into this one. I really enjoyed and was impressed by this one. Yo, this is sick. This is sick. In this video, he transitions from skiing on top of snow to a drone shot flying over waves, breaking on the beach. The transition point, I believe, is when the camera is pointing down and the white crunchy snow moving out of frame matches with the frothy white waves in the second shot. And I think what he did was he rotoscoped out his skis so they stayed in for a little bit in the second shot to mask that transition. Then maybe a crossfade between the snow and the water created this virtually seamless transition, I believe. So very, very cool. I actually really like this one too. All right, so I've actually seen this next one before. You start off with this wide shot of boiling stew, right? And the camera zooms in a bit. And then the entire pot of stew just goes out of frame for a fraction of a second. Take a look at that. Because as the camera pulls back over the stew and then it starts coming back into frame, it's actually the side of the pot that then serves as the wiping agent, guys, to transition from the first shot over to the next shot. So check this out. As soon as you see the pot start to wipe through the frame of the first shot, everything after that is actually the second shot of the jacuzzi. This was very, very clever. It took me a minute to figure it out where the transition actually was. Very, very clever because using this way, you never had to actually fade from the water in the pot to the water in the jacuzzi. You literally just used the edge of the pot as the wiping agent and then just seamlessly transitioned into the jacuzzi scene. All right, guys, it's now time for the moment of reckoning. I'm gonna now show you the last shot in this crazy compilation. Using everything that we've learned so far watching this video, I want you to now tell me how this guy created all of the following shots. Be as detailed as possible, go into the comments and explain everything to me from shot to shot. I promise I'll respond to every one of your comments. Let's see how well you do. Look at my eyes, tell me your tail, do you see the road? I'm out to my soul, a tell me the size, whenever the smoke clear out of my face, and my picture perfect, do I look fry? All of that green and yellow that drip your eyes is telling, tell you demise, I'm with to my side, the push back 
Just selling and push by the feelings I had to decide. I replay them nights and wipe on my side. All I see is the sea of people that ride me. If they just knew what Scotty would do to jump out the stage and say I'm a child. If this is creative, it became the most way that I gotta find balance and give me a smile. Yeah, yeah. That shit violence, that I'm a hero. I took it for zero. The flame you saying, I'm ready for miles. This shit wasn't luck, they got me fucked up. I put you on bus and take you around. A couple of guns inside of the school. I gave them the tools to get it off the ground. Say to the ones when they make their ends, can't look in the mirror. That shit violence.